Welcome to Second Chance Garage. Okay, this is my new Shark Vacuum Sweeper. So I'm going to open it up and see what it looks like. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. Right. Paperwork. Shark. This is the Shark Navigator. Lift the way upright. <laughs> the mystery thing. Let's we'll see what that is. Uh, comes with a hose of some sort. Uh huh. Okay. It's <laughs> uh -huh. unboxing of the navigator. It's got some kind of thingy on the bottom here. All right. Well, just pile this over here. Over there. Keep taking this stuff off. All right. Light it back a little. Okay. I'm pulling out something. I don't know what it is. Well, something's stuck in there. Okay. Huh. Things that maybe go. Huh. Here's a uh, attachment of some kind. Okay. And uh, something else in the top. Oh, I think that's the foot thing. Get the guy to figure out how to get it out of the package. Hang on. Let me turn you a little more. This way and down a little more, maybe. All right, so I think this is the foot thing or the carpeting thing. Okay, I'm pulling it out of the bag, I'm trying to make heads or tails out of it. Okay. Got something in here. What is that? Oh, that's like a it's like a brush. You need to brush. Throw it down there in the how does this work category? Okay. Oh, I believe this is a crevice tool. A crevice tool. Right now, all I have to do is okay. Now, this I think that's all there is to it. Now, let's open this up and pull it out of the bag. Looks like he's messing up my sleeve. Okay, so this is the cord, plugs in, so you gotta un. Tie this somehow. Let's untie. Yeah, showing off my sexy legs. Oh, you can't see it, Mom. <laughs> okay. Yeah, untangle. Oh, I thought I had to untangle it. Oh, there it is. Black. Can't hardly see it. The cord's black, the twist tie's black. Yeah. Alright. Now. We. Okay. Okay. There's the cord. Now. It must be together somehow. Hmm. Okay. So. Say this is the base. Hmm. Oh, uh, huh. How's the base? This looks like it goes. Oh, okay. It's got a couple plug-ins here. It's got a couple plug-ins right here. So I think this tube goes in like this. 
and I bet it plugs in there. But you just kind of do something like this. Yeah, it's got a couple of clickers. It's got a clicker right there that clicks it together. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Figuring it out. We're figuring it out. Okay, then this looks like it's got a thing for the... So it's probably got a plug-in. Oh, all right, here. There is a pipe right here sticking up. I almost bet that has to stick in there somehow. It's got a red button. We'll put that towards the back. Nope. It's got a notch. I think it slides in there. So it clicks. All right. Now, this handle has got a red thing on it. So we're going to think... But it probably goes. Here's the top of it. Uh, we're going to say the handle probably goes backwards. So we're going to see if we can wind it up and it, pop it together. And this hose has a thingy that looks like it just pops in here. Hmm. As soon as I... Oh, it's got a couple of round things here that line up in these round pegs. Okay. That, I think, is all popped together somehow. That flexes, which... I don't know what that's about. Okay, so then... Huh. Well, how does this lift out exactly? <laughs> it's got a... Okay, it's got a button here you open up for emptying, apparently. You got a button here you push in. I wonder if that... Allows it to release somehow. Oh. Ah, it's got snaps on the side. Yeah, I don't know if you can see them right here. You gotta lift up that snap and unhook it. The other side's got one. Alright. Then I bet you hit this button. And the whole, <laughs> the whole box. Okay, that opens the bottom of it, so you don't want to do that when you're taking it out. To empty it. Okay, so I figured out how to empty it. Alright. So, that's how you empty it. Uh, how do you disconnect it from the bottom? Okay, that's got a hep of filter in there that you can take out and clean. Alright. And somehow I think you're supposed to be able to take this out. I think. Uh huh. Instruction manual may be required at this juncture. Hmm. Yeah, okay, and this is where it wraps. Okay, and this is where it wraps up. And there's one up here too. The coil for the whole thing. Hmm. But I'm pretty sure that it was showing that it turned into a handheld somehow. Showing how it empties. Showing the HEPA filter in the bottom of it. Where's my glasses? Okay. 
showing how to snap it all together. Uh huh. Twist. But how? Huh. It don't show how it's supposed to come off of this. There's a switch there. I think. Switch in the back. Oh, that locks it down. Maybe you have to take this loose. Okay. This does something. It turns. Hmm. Okay, not exactly sure why that turns. It does say something on there, but I can't see what it says. Maybe it will release. Not that direction. I don't know. Okay. So, it looks like the whole thing slides up somehow. Maybe, huh, I don't know. That don't, because it don't show, it shows on the picture they're using it as a handheld. All right, so maybe I have to pop it off the bottom like this. But she's using it as a handheld. So maybe I have to pop this off. Well, if that's the case, I'll take that off. Oh. Okay. Okay. I bet this. That you can leave together, I think. And then this probably disconnects here, and this is probably a lock. Well, hmm. Push the button. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Okay. So then you put this back in there. Huh. Yeah, you pop that back in there. You can use it as a head. Yeah, okay. Oh, the whole thing has to come out. This thing. Well, it wasn't supposed to go in there. So that releases this. Huh. Maybe you gotta disassemble it every time you're gonna use it for a. Yeah, I think you do. Oh, well, that's kind of inconvenient. Huh. Okay. Not understanding the haptic work. I can see by the picture on the box that this has to go on there somehow. And it lines up. Oh, there it is. Okay. So this is how you have to use it as a handheld, which is strange to say the least. 
All right. Okay. So that's how you use the handheld. Now, I want to put it back together. I'm going to rotate this up. And then I want to slide this onto the bottom. And then you have to slide this in a little slot that's here. That's totally inconvenient. So in order to make it into a handheld, you have to push this button, I believe, back here. Got to push this button here, pull this out, and then there's another button on the uh, back somewhere here to release this base off of it here. Yeah, there, there's a button right here you have to push to release it off the base. So you stick together like this and it clicks. Then you push this button here, release it, and it takes it loose. And then it's a handheld unit. Heavy. Heavy beast. And then you can just and here, let me put it down here. Then you line it up with this hole and this slot right here. This thing, and it's got a notch in the back. You gotta rotate this elbow up, line it up, slide it down in there, and click it. Okay, there you go. That's how you did it, and I didn't even have to break out the instructions. La -di -da. So there is the new shark vacuum. Now, uh, it said something that looked like in the instructions that they may have. They may have. Uh, this wired up so it won't spin. No, it spins. Yep, but there's no height adjustment on it. There's no height adjustment on it. It just whatever it is is what it is. But you would think somewhere on here would be a place to put the attachments. Hmm. Let me look and see. There looks like there's a place to put some attachments. Uh, oh, that's what this is for. <laughs> now I got it. <laughs> that goes in there. Oh, that goes on there. This or that don't go in there. <laughs> Okay, now this probably goes on here somewhere. Hmm. Where would it go? Where would it go? Where would it go? Uh, huh. I'll cheat and look on the instructions. Right here. I think is where it's supposed to go. I think it's supposed to go. No. It goes like that. This turns sideways. Oh. Okay. Hang on. Let me readjust you. Okay. 
it slides on, you gotta take the top off, and then this slides on, and lines up. Then you can slide this back on, which clicks. So you got this. Okay, where's the crevice tool go? I bet it goes on the bottom. Ho, oh, ho, ho, ho! There you go, I figured it out. I don't need no stinking instructions. I'm just that good. <laughs> Let me rotate it up here. Make sure that's clicked. All right, look at that. Old boy figured it out, didn't he? <laughs> well, okay, I cheated a little bit. <laughs> I looked. I thought this is probably where it went, but I wasn't sure. So then I did look for the instructions to see where this went. Other than that, I didn't need no freaking instructions. So there it is. The new Shark Navigator two-way cleaning system. 99.9 .9 of dust and allergies. Sweet. There it is. The Navigator. So it's heavy. Dude, this thing is heavy. I mean, when you're pushing it, it's not going to be bad, you know. It's got wheels and stuff. But, and it, the head swivels. But if you're trying to, huh, well, how do you lift the head now? Oh, you just push on it. Okay. Yeah, that, yeah it's going to roll nice. And it curves. Right, let me show you. Let me show you. If I can here. Mm hmm. Let me see. Can you see the floor? Nope, you still can't see the floor. All right, hang on. Let me see if I can hold you like this. Uh, where is it? Wiggle it around. I can't see it myself. There. Okay. Uh, still not. Oh, there it is. Okay, I see it now. I can get it tilted right. Okay, see the head swivels. The whole thing, you can turn it, well, you can turn it this way or that way, and it stays flat. Mm hmm All right, so anyway. So anyway, I got to, it is, if you're trying to use it as a handheld device, and like I got vaulted ceilings, uh, well, I don't know if you can tell, but here, you might be able to tell if I show you this way. This is my doorway going into the hallway. That's one end of it with a big beam and then it's vaulted and it goes down to the door there you might be able to see how much it's slanted up to that beam which separates the living room and the dining room kitchen all right so oh and then i got a ceiling fan between the two rooms in the high spot and that was covered with dust so I had to take a wet rag and all that stuff and get it cleaned off so I could use it to spread the heat around between the two rooms, between the three rooms here. So the point is, uh, this would have been handy to be able to reach up and get a bunch of cobwebs and stuff like that. But that thing is heavy. I mean... Regardless of what they show on the box, you know, you can stand there and hold it, but it's kind of got a weird shape to it because you got this neck. Because you got this neck here, and it's in a weird shape that you're trying to get up to stuff. And then here, I'll even show you on the box. I mean... I don't know if you can see this picture on the box. Let me see if you get you here where you can see it. 
here's this woman using it. Well, as you can see, she's carrying pretty much the whole unit. Plus, it's got this great big weird shape right here. I mean, you know, it's kind of awkward. I think it's going to be awkward and it's going to be kind of heavy. And she could do that for a little while, but she couldn't do it for very long. Because that sucker, that sucker is pretty heavy. So, I mean, just keep that in mind before you go buy one. That, you know, with me, with the vaulted ceilings, I could stand there and hold it and, and you know, use it. But, yeah, you might want to, you know, put a, bring up a car on wheels or something to set it on. For if you've got vaulted ceilings that she's working on. And it's, I don't know that it would be tall enough to get to my vault, top of my vaulted ceilings. Maybe with the crevice tool on there, I could do it or something, but I don't know. But that's just my thoughts. I haven't tried it yet. I just literally unboxed it. You saw me trying to figure out how to put it together, which was a joke. <laughs> and so anyway, I thought I'd tell you what's going on and uh, my initial thoughts of it. I think it's going to work great as a vacuum sweeper, but don't drink the Kool-Aid. I think it's pretty heavy. So, you know, for vaulted ceilings and stuff like that. But now if you're doing like, if, you, if you're doing something like baseboards where you can set it down and then do a baseboard and then pick it up and move it, then it'll work pretty good for that. Or, you know, cleaning out your car where you can just throw it in the back seat and use it or, you know, move it around. Then that'd be handy. But anyway, that's what's going on. If you like it, subscribe. Give me a Fozzie. Thumbs up. Yeah, baby. Second Chance Garage, Uncle Russ out.